Now, let us look at secondary education under the 1957 Commission. What this Commission recommended was there was primary education, there was tertiary education, and somewhere in the middle, sandwiched between these two, should be secondary education. And for secondary education, they made the following recommendation. To create a freedom of thinking among children, in other words, children should be allowed at this level to use their own minds. Now remember, this is grade 6 onwards, probably up to grade 12, because that was seen as the years of education in a school. And so, providing this education and allowing children to use their own minds, to think for themselves, to do things for themselves, was seen as important. To create a sense of research and curiosity in children. Many times we look at research as a requirement for tertiary education, but there are ways and manners in which even secondary school children can do research. Small simple things, if you allow them to be curious, to question. You cannot do research if you never have a question. Only when you have a question can you do research and find out at that appropriate level. Create a sense of leadership in children. These are now children moving into becoming young adults, will be getting into the teenage and moving ahead in life. You want these people to experience leadership. What is it to lead individuals? What is it to have followers behind you? And why do some people have more followers and some less. It's the qualities and characteristics of the leader that determines that. To enable students to cope with adolescent needs, as they're growing up, they're becoming more independent, they're becoming more on their own, and so those needs have to be met, and education should provide for those needs. To create an aesthetic sense in children. Aesthetic sense is a sense for beauty, harmony, normalization in life, and that also education should be able to provide to young people at that age. To create and develop a passion and love for art and culture among children. Culture is unique to individuals and our culture should be transmitted to the next generation and that won't happen unless we have that desire and the young people have the desire to gain that culture and pass it on to yet another generation after them. To create interest for taking part in games in children. Games, sports, field activities, team sports, individual sports was also seen as a key factor in educating young people, developing children physically as well as mentally. As a citizen, it was seen important to create a social responsibility sense in children, not only asking what the country does for me, but telling what you can do for your country. Social responsibility. Create a cooperative spirit among children. How do you work together? In society, we live together. We don't work in isolation. To develop a habit among children to take part in social welfare, looking after the needs of people who are less privileged than you. That is social welfare. Thinking beyond just yourself and looking at individuals at a lower strata than you are in society. As a citizen, to prepare children for practical life needs of the day. What will the child need once he steps out of school? What are those practical needs? Are we providing that? To consolidate habits of honesty, patience, and hard work among children. Nothing comes easy and for children to understand that without hard work, patience, struggle, persistence, consistency, you will not get far. As a worker, because after school, 12, you have to go to a job market and work. So to create a sense of the dignity of work. No matter what work you do, there should be dignity in what you do because no work is low work. Provide facilities for professional guidance so that children can choose skills and profession according to their interests and tastes. Everybody is not going to be a doctor, everybody is not going to be an engineer, and so children may want to do different things and to provide them the opportunity 
and chance to do just that. And finally, as a patriot, to equip children with education that reflect Islamic values. Remember, Pakistan came into being on the basis of the two-nation theory, and so Islamic values and perspectives are important. To create a passion among children to feel proud of being Pakistani. Not to shy away from the fact that I am from Pakistan, but to be proud of the fact that you are from Pakistan. To give knowledge of the cultural heritage to our children, our culture, our traditions, our customs, our rituals must all be passed to the next generation. And to create a sense of international cooperation among children. Although we are Pakistanis, especially today, we cannot live ignoring the international perspective that we are exposed through.